red lentils in the Instant Pot with some onions. I'm gonna show you how to make it. Get your Instant Pot on a saute here with olive oil in the bottom, just to coat the bottom like I did here. I'm using a sweet onion, one whole medium sized onion. Put this on saute. We're gonna let this cook and I'll come back to you when it's starting to get a little more brown. But before I do that, I wanna show you some of the seasonings, other spices that we're gonna need. Cumin, seeds, cloves, cinnamon, and I'm gonna add some black pepper, and of course, salt. And one more thing I forgot, two cloves of garlic. We just have some whole cloves here. I'm not gonna bother chopping it up because it's going to instant pot. The logic behind my reasoning there is, I mean, if it's going to stew, it's going to stew out all the flavor anyways. So I don't have to bother chopping it for maximum flavor surface area. Still browning these onions here. And before I forget, I'm going to add the, the spices to the hot onion and oil mixture. Because I want the uh, spices to sort of open up in the oil layer. You see how the oil is sizzling? That'll extract the flavors from your spices. Right now I'm shaking cumin seeds into my hands. You can't see because it's off screen. But I'm getting about a quarter teaspoon, which is about a pinch, right? Let's try to get in that oil for you so you can see how it starts to bloom. See that? See the cumin is starting to bloom a little bit in the oil? That's what you're looking for. So the rest of the seeds go in. Okay. And then cloves, you're going to want to be sparing on these. These, these are, they pack a punch, <laughs> so you don't want to use too much, too many. I'd say for this, this uh, bag of lentils, one, two, three cloves. That's it. Three cloves should do. And they smell lovely. And cinnamon, same deal. Just sprinkle in cinnamon. Actually, might be a little too much. Oh well. That's the cinnamon for a teaspoon, and then black pepper. I like to use a lot of black pepper, so I'm just eyeballing. And of course, we got salt. Some sea salt here. A couple sprinkles. Do a little something different here. I, I have these organic tomatoes. You see here. I'm gonna rinse this. I'm just gonna stick a tomato in. All right, give this all a stir. About eight to nine minutes into the process here, because I haven't stopped recording. You can see how the onions are starting to fall apart here in the hot oil and that's what you're going for now the entire time if you're cooking in the instant pot you want to make sure that you're moving things around and checking and once they start to brown they brown fast so you see how the onions are starting to i mean this is in real time i really haven't edited this video but you can see how it's starting to go from that translucent noodle like texture to straight up brown so at this point and it goes just like that. We got some vegetable broth right here. And I'm just going to eyeball it. Ooh, 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 listen to that sizzle. That's how hot that bottom is. Remember earlier I was telling you about being careful not to have anything burn on the bottom? I hope you can hear how that broth just sizzles away immediately looks good to you right i don't see anything burning to you nothing look how clean that is i'm just bar barely covering it i would say a little more that looks good just two whole tomatoes no, no need to chop my i'm just improvising here I, I feel like this will be delicious some acidity i didn't have any any acids in here and tomatoes might provide that acidity to boost the flavor an idea is, as this steams and cooks and pressures, 
that's just going to break down the tomato and all the juices will just flow right into the lentils as it's cooking and absorb. We'll close the lid here, make sure this is on sealing, and then pressure cook 20 minutes, high pressure. And then I'll see you in 20 minutes when we get back. We'll see what it looks like. All right, y'all, this is done cooking. I'm going to vent it. I'm placing a towel here, turning the knob. Actually, it's already not too bad. You don't want to open this until that pop tab goes down because that's, that's the pressure indicator. See? Pop down, which means it's safe to open. Oh, fogging up the glass here. Look at that. All right. See, the tomatoes have essentially cooked completely. I'll break this one up for you to see what it looks like. Like it just falls right off the spoon. It's all mush. I'm gonna check the bottom here. See how nothing's really burnt. It's just nice and caramelized. So what I forgot to include at the start of the video is turmeric. Now, I went ahead and I didn't record it, but I added a quarter teaspoon of turmeric to the dull before I uh, turn the camera off. So don't forget the turmeric. Give it a nice stir. It smells wonderful. All the, all the aromas of the spices. All right, guys. That is the final red lentil result. with the tomato in it. Let's give it a try. Hope I don't burn myself. Mm. Oh yeah. That's tasty. Very satisfying. I wanna make this more often. Hope you enjoyed. And I wish you could have a taste yourself.